Oh. Yeah, it's this episode. It's this episode. It's this episode. <laughs> that we're starting already. Hi. Hello, welcome to Two Teens Podcast. I'm Bo. Okay, I'm Brandon. Um, so we were discussing an artist that we're going to talk about apparently this episode that I thought we were talking about next episode. No. Because, spoiler alert, we're recording two today. But you all know. You'll hear them a week apart. And then next week you'll be like, oh yeah, you mentioned they were... If it was that, <laughs> but it's not that. Anyways. Anyways. So, what do we do here? We swallow water. Uh-huh. You just did that. I just swallowed in general. Okay. Now I'm going to swallow some water off mic. So, there on on your water bottle there, yes. My there's... My Draplin, me- Draplin Designs, design there, company. There's a measurement on there. Mm-hmm. Thing one, is it accurate? I would assume so. Why else would you put it on there? Decoration <laughs> to make people think that it's accurate and like, hey, I'm right. doing... I don't know. Uh, and what, what is it? What do you mean? What is the, it? the measurements up to 32 ounces. Okay. And then it goes down to, so it goes from eight to 32. Okay. It may not be totally accurate. I don't, I don't think it's because the eight looks like a lot bigger than the, the rest of them. Yeah. Cause it's probably too high. And also, Oh yeah. Cause the eight, it goes eight, 16, 20, 24, 28. I think they just messed up the bottom number. I think the bottom number is just supposed to be 12. Maybe. Unless this, I don't know. We should like test it. Do you have a measuring cup? Somewhere? I do not. Not in this room. Yeah. Do you know? Do you know Aaron Draplin? Do you know who he is? No, I don't. So he he's a like graphic designer, graphic artist guy. Um, there's a great interview with him on an on an older WTF podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, but he does all kinds of design stuff. Um, one of the things I like about following him on, him on Instagram is besides his own stuff, he likes to just show off like graphic design things, like old logos and different things. And he kind of like collects them in a way. And mm-hmm. then he'll also sometimes like redesign them just to like update them. So it's kind of cool. But then he's got his own line of just stuff, clothes and different things. And then he did a thing for Christmas. Like it was like the 12 days of Draplin. So it was like 12 days of Christmas. And every day there was like a different thing that was available and this was one of them, and I really liked it, so I got it. Yeah. So it's very green. It's just an algae bottle, but it's very bright green. It's got these cool, like, water droplet symbols yeah, yeah. on it. It's and cool. And then, yeah, the big, the big numbers. But again, Which are the numbers not are accurate at all. Not accurate. I just think, I think that that's supposed to be 12. I think change that to 12, and you're good. Because otherwise it goes by increments all right. of four. So, so go from, like... I'll have to, like, post a picture of this. And, yeah, so I know. can see. Or on our discord yeah because i got a message about a thing that we we talked about weeks ago and they're like oh post it and i, I searched for it was a tiktok thing about the the, the five waves of, of oh the ska. five waves of emo was it emo it's emo oh crap i promise it's emo you're right it is emo yeah i looked up ska no it's the fifth wave emo which is the wave that we're currently in yeah anyways i looked for it and i couldn't find uh-huh. it so i couldn't post it in there so we should do it right now put it on the discord okay um but we'll have to do it no what you should do is like take your fingers and measure from 24 to 32 okay which is eight and then go down to the bottom oh and see if that and see out. if that's do you have a ruler i have a tape measure that works now remember that the bottom is gonna yeah. be a little bit less yeah that actually so, so it's set eight up yeah, but, but then, then the all rest the of it, but then all the numbers are is not right. I don't know. Looks cool, but it probably is thirty two. Is probably all the way to the top, all the way to the top. Yeah. So also that's wrong. I don't know, man. It just got it because it looks cool. Because I really think like I'm, I I want a water bottle bottle it, that does that. It also says this is funny. So it says DDC three nineteen fluids unit. So like that's his. DDC yeah, yeah. is the company. 319 is probably like the product number. Yeah. Fluids unit. That's what it's called. Yeah. Right. Um, and then it says 32 ish ounces. <laughs> yeah. So I, I, I wanted, so when, when I was looking for a water, bo- water bottle, mm-hmm. uh, this one. I was, I'm not looking for one anymore, but I'm, I was looking for something that had like measurements on it. So I could yeah. be like, I drank 16 ounces. Okay. Uh-huh. Glug, glug, glug. I, I drank eight. And you don't want to get one of those ones that has like motivational things on it. It's like, you're almost there. Like doing a good job. Like, yeah, I don't know. It's like, it's like a gallon thing and says stuff. Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? I do. Okay. Sorry. Continue your story. But I want it to be accurate and I don't think any of them are accurate unless you get like a science, scientific <laughs> measure like it's it's for measuring like liquid beaker. yeah and it's like i'm not gonna drink out of a there. beaker you should drink out of a beaker they make beakers like that are like food grade beakers because like they well, just pyrex 
Yeah, but I capital, mean, like capital letter py- Pyrex, not yeah, lowercase letter right. Pyrex. But I mean, they make they make like they'll make like like beer mugs and whatever that like look like that stuff. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. they're meant to be drank out of and not mm-hmm. have carbolic acid or whatever. <laughs> sure, I don't know. Um, you know the the big thing. Speaking of like drinking vessels, the big thing this this winter season, Christmas season, whatever was like the Stanley cups, like the Stanley brand. Oh, I thought when you say cups. Stanley Cup, I'm thinking of like the. the I hockey. know that's what I think too because I was seeing all these TikToks about like people getting Stanley Cups and whatever, and like people did make that specific joke. They're like, "I asked my boyfriend for a Stanley Cup for Christmas. This is not what I meant. And it's like the actual <laughs> Stanley Cup or whatever." Wait. Oh, I saw a thing, and this person. Um, they made they made enamel pins, and it was like my girlfriend. This is for my girlfriend, so give her things that girls like. And then he like zooms over, and it's like four enamel pins with swords, <laughs> and it's like I know what girls like. <laughs> and he puts it in the box. Nice. Uh, I'm trying to find if I can that fifth wave emo thing since you mentioned it. Where do you find your saved videos on? Oh, I don't know. TikTok. I just looked through our 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 um tiktok anonymous our back and forth comments but you could also search fifth wave emo yeah because it's probably a tag more fun this way anyways we should probably not search tiktok and talk about two tunes who's up first you you're you're up first then i gotta talk about stuff other than that all right i'll find it between episodes so i'm up first this week i am talking about a band that i do not remember where i found them (laughs) i think i know how i found them uh, my typical uh, somebody that I like and appreciate musically uh, posted this song in particular on Instagram, and then I went and found it and saved it, and then listened to it at some point and liked it, and then sort of forgot about it. Not because of the song, but just because life. I have a question for you. Was whatever. it that guy? It is that guy. Okay, guess what? We found it. We found it. Nice. It's going to be posted to the TikTok. What's his handle? Um siwa s-e-i-w-u-h yeah and it it says episode 28 join the discord <laughs> so we're gonna post it too yeah he's great I've, I've actually found some different groups and stuff through him um and and found some different information and stuff so Just i like copy. i like him a lot anyway so this band sweet pill um the the album where the heart is and then the song where the heart is opening track uh I think what drew me to it was, like I said, it was by like somebody else that I appreciate, like they posted it. And so I, I don't always go and listen to that stuff, but, um, the artwork grabbed me as well. And no pun intended for when you see the artwork. (laughs) Um, but like, I was like, Oh, that's some striking visuals. Let's hear what the music sounds like. And I went and listened to the track and was like, Oh, that's good. I like it. And then I just sort of, like I said, just like, I don't know didn't go deeper with it and kind of got lost in the shuffle. And then like in December of 2022, as people were kind of giving their, here's my albums of the year kind of thing. This was on so many people's album of the year Mm -hmm. um, or albums of the year. I should say like, like here's my top 20 kind of thing. Okay. Um, That's the connection this week. It's albums of the year. Yeah. Um, Maybe. I don't know. But yeah, but this, no, cause yours as well was listed as sort of like, it's up there. uh, Yeah. It's a really good album. Um, yeah anyways as is this one um different styles of music and stuff but yeah um these guys probably fall under fifth wave emo whatever i'd put labels on it if you want who cares but you know what i'm saying music that has tapping sure um but yeah just really really like them a lot and i want more music from them but this is like their debut album so um i guess they released like an ep a couple years ago but this is like the main thing so sweet pill uh says they're from Jersey. I've also seen them listed as from Philly. Um, but it's probably one of those things where it's like, oh, just cross this bridge and then you're in Philly or you're in you're in uh well Jersey. <clears throat> maybe. Maybe. Hear me out. Okay. They got the uh Doc Oz thing. Where they grew up no, 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 south no. of let's Philadelphia. Not, <laughs> let's not equate good things with terrible, <laughs> terrible things. They just grew up south of Philadelphia. Great. In New so Jersey. You can go hang out with your buddy Mehmet. Um Anyway, it says Sweet Pill formed in early 2019 
uh, while the uh, vocalist Zena Youssef uh, was attending Rowan University, which is in New Jersey, um, and looking to get more involved in the music scene. Uh, and then they re- released their debut single in 2019, their first uh, EP also in 2019. And then in March of 2022, they announced their upcoming album. Um, and that released on May 25th of 2022. And it's called Where the Heart Is. And this song is also called Where the Heart Is. So it's the title track. Give it a listen. I like that lyrically, the f- opening lyrics also come back. Okay. I don't think I've spent enough time with this. I uh, I'm actually like looking at the lyrics for the first time. Like I've listened to them, and they're pretty. Like you can get most of them. You yeah. know what I mean, um, but um, it sounds kind of interesting because it's like this opening bit sounds like just like got to get up, got to go to work. I don't like it. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go home, like do my thing, um, and then it gets like a little more introspective as it goes like to the second verse and stuff. But um, yeah, it's just kind of kind of cool. I actually. I had this thought because I, I was listening to it in the car on the way over, just like you know, refresh my brain on this song a little bit. And uh, I was like, "Do they ever say the word home? Like that would be kind of clever if they never said it, but then they do. They say it quite a few times, right about where we're yeah where say it. But I, I think it was like after that fact because they don't really say it then after that. But it would be kind of like a an interesting lyrical choice not to ever say the word home because the the title the the title of the track is where the heart is, which like home is where the heart is. Sure. So do you just kind of like allude to it? Mm -hmm. But then never say it, but then they say it, so never mind. (laughs) It's ruined. There you go. Yeah. What do you think about this song? I mean, I dig it. It's not like it doesn't grab my attention, but yeah. it's not like I I'd listen to this. This is good. This this the the things that that I'm into. Yeah. This, like it kind of. I think I referenced last week or a couple weeks ago, like that comfort food idea of a yeah. song or of a band. Like like we both like pool kids. We both like uh, church girls. We both like you know other bands and things, and it's mm-hmm. got that kind of same vibe to it in a lot of ways. I'm, I'm looking through um, by the way I'm, all the first pressings of the album are sold out okay. I keep trying to find them on vinyl and I can't <laughs> gotcha I'm looking through their uh, Facebook photos okay because I'm like I want to see what these people look like yeah but now I'm like just re rehashing the same photos uh. But hey, if they're from Philadelphia, and that's it. <laughs> there could be a really cool Philly show uh-huh. with like them and Church Girls. Uh-huh. Cap, I mean, it wouldn't really happen, yeah, because they're calling kind of all on different levels, yeah. Um, but one could open for the other and whatever, yeah, kind of cool. So they're on um, Top Shelf Records, okay. And so I went to like Top Shelf's website to try to find the album and stuff and said about being sold out. And then I was like, man, this Top Shelf thing. Because I was like clicking through like a lot of their stuff. Yeah. And like a lot of stuff just like wasn't available. And I was like, well, that's, what the heck? Like, that's weird. And then I remembered, I was like, wait, Top Shelf Records, this sounds familiar. I, uh, a few months ago, saw a thing about this record label where like they had all their stuff stored in this place. 
like 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 all, all their physical stuff was a like warehouse. stored in a warehouse. Base. Well, sure, warehouse, whatever it mm-hmm. was. I forget exactly what they. Maybe they said warehouse, whatever. But it was like all stored like through them, or it was like maybe their pressing thing. I don't remember like the whole story. But basically, mm-hmm. the building itself like got sold and shut down and they had like no access to their stuff anymore. And wow. They were like what? <laughs> what? I think it was like down in Texas and they're like up in Portland, Oregon. It was like a whole thing. And so it was this thing of like, Hey, we're doing a Kickstarter so we can hopefully make some money and keep this thing afloat because we don't know if we're getting this stuff back and, or if we can, do we have to pay, lawyer fees or not even not even lawyer fees just pay the people to get our own stuff that we already own back it's like a whole thing so i was like oh that's terrible i'll i'll kick in some money for that for Mm -hmm. sure like um that's a great cause and then like because it's kickstarter there's always like perks if you yeah do so much and whatever and so one of the things i think that i did was like we'll send you like two random lps of whatever we have and Mm -hmm. i was like okay cool i'll do that um and then so i looked it up and i was like oh yeah top shelf records that's that that group that I, you know, sponsored and whatever. And I was like, Oh, that makes sense why they don't have anything. <laughs> Cause they didn't, they have been able to get their stuff back, um, like fairly recently. So yeah. that's good. But, um, it just was funny. That whole connection between in November, they like, got oh, it back. Shoot. Yeah. But I'm I was like, like looking at their website. Oh, okay. But it was like a whole thing. It was wild. But, um, yeah, they've got some good bands and stuff. Some I've heard of a lot. I have not really before. I want to dive in a little bit deeper to their catalog. Mm-hmm. Um, and then hopefully get some stuff. But even it was like, they didn't have any other stickers and whatever. And I'm like, what? Why don't you have those? <laughs> it's like, oh, that's right. You've been dealing with all this other stuff. So, yeah, Sweet Pill. I want to, like, check out more of them. Uh, I'd love to see them. Again, they're not that far away from us. So, yeah, maybe we could see them somewhere. And maybe with some other bands that we like. Maybe they'll come to Harrisburg. They could. Exo Live, get on it. Don't charge a million dollars either. <laughs> they won't. $160. <laughs> $160 insanity yep so so what's up we're uh moving on to the next thing okay uh professionally known as ethel kane yeah is hayden i don't i can't pronounce anything else hayden silas uh and hidornia yeah hang on i had it pulled up earlier from tallahassee florida and living in pittsburgh transgender and en- Yadonia, I would say. I don't know how they specifically pronounce it, but like, yeah. On Yadonia. Well, I think they're ethyl- ethyl cane now. Yeah. So I had a question about this. Yes. So we should maybe do like a non spoilers and spoilers section of this, like we're reviewing a movie. Yeah. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So. Because it, <laughs> like me reading the Wikipedia today, just being like, what, what is, what, what is the official maybe, uh, this is a concept record. Official synopsis, if you yeah, will, yeah. storyline. And right there, I'm just like, oh, I did not know that. Now I got to go listen to it again. You didn't know the, the yeah. So, the okay. So if you don't want to know about this album. Go listen to it. Go listen. Just, just go, go listen, listen to, to it, it top to bottom. Would you say it's an hour and 16 minutes? An hour and 16 minutes. That's like the That's exact length Not of time. too long. Um, you know, of. go like, drive around in your car, but don't stop. Go sit, you know. 75 minutes and 42 seconds. There you go. Um, so yeah, if you don't want to know anything about it, pause right now and, and go then listen. go listen. And then we're going to talk about it in three, two, one. So, um, before we get to the specifics, like we still won't get into like major spoilers of what the thing is. Um, as I was reading about this also, as I was listening, um, after I had gotten to hold, the hold twist up, track, hold. by the way, cause there's a twist yeah, yeah. or a turn. If there's you will. a turn. I don't think it's a twist. I think no, it's a, it's a turn. turn. So I had listened to, cause I had figured out, Oh, this is, you had sort of said it's concept record. There's a storyline. There's an, there's a particular track that's like, Whoa. Mm-hmm. And then after that, it kind of comes down and whatever. Um, so I knew where that track was. It's kind of obvious. Oh yeah. Cause it, you... cause it's an industrial doom metal. Song. Well, sure. It's also the only one with a uh, explicit, Marking, I think. Um, let me see. Or is the one before it? Gibson Girl's the track, right? No. Or is the one after Gibson Girl? Hold on. I think it's the track after Gibson Girl, now that I say that. But Gibson Girl has the explicit. Yeah, Gibson Girl has the... Explicit marking. And then, but then it's the one after it. Yes. Okay. Anyway. Which is... Uh, oh, t- uh, Ptolemaea. Yeah, Ptolemaea. Yeah. Um, Named after the Ninth Circle of Hell. Which is where Cain resides, like from the Bible. 
There you go. Which is also where Ethel King gets an Abram. So here's this is brings me back to full circle. You know more than I, I do. From. Yeah, because I did some research. I didn't do any. So Ethel Kane is their professional name on this thing. But I wonder, are mm-hmm. they going to continue to be Ethel Kane, or is this project Ethel Kane? Because they went by a different name. Did they before? Yes. For for inbred. <laughs> for uh. Uh, where does it say? Somewhere it said about they they were using like a different. They had like a different moniker that they were going under. I thought. I don't know. Blah, 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 blah. I swear I saw something. Uh, white white these... Silas. There it is. And Atlas. Okay. Yeah. So they were kind of going by some different names, and then with this stuff, then they. Then they started using that. Well, name. the EP that or was it an EP? First EP was yeah inbred is that related to this or is it a different thing i don't know i don't know anymore <laughs> i'm i'm more intrigued i mean i was the one who discovered this and gave it to you yeah and then now you're making okay so it looks like intrigued. the the ep inbred is all different songs and stuff but then maybe ties into this in some way i don't know so i just was wondering maybe, maybe this is just their professional name they're just going to go with that they are well think of a coheed and cambria like it's still within the universe, but those characters are dead. Sure. Okay. Yeah. They died. That's in, fair. They died. Spoiler alert for <laughs> a, a tw- fictional history a tw- of a band of twenty year history. Yeah. Twenty two year history of a band that yeah. that involves comic books. That, and... that, that they died in the first, definitely the first album, if not like the first song. I don't remember. Or even before then. I started on Apple about three, it. like most people. <laughs> most people did. Yeah. And Coheed and Cambria were already dead. So anyway, so I guess that kind of pokes a hole in my theory about Ethel Kane, if that's if that was going to be their their name. Like if they're going to move I forward. I guess it is their name, yeah. Yeah. Even though this album is specifically sort of about the life of, Le- of Ethel Kane, according to what I read. Mm-hmm. Um, life and death, spoilers. <laughs> well, I guess we're in the spoilers section of this I'm going to... Yeah, I need to dive into this so, even more. So tell me about it. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> my well, no, l- let me tell you about what I thought going yeah, yeah. in. So I look at this thing. Oh. I see Preacher's <laughs> Daughter. Yep. It's the name of the album. You tell me it takes a bit of a turn. You assume the turn is kind of not a great thing. And then it goes out. And as I'm like listening through like the first couple tracks, I had in my head that it's going to be some sort of like um, specific, maybe like a rape or or. In, uh, some sort of sexual attack, it, yep. abuse of some kind. <clears throat> That's what I assumed it was going to be. I also kind of thought maybe at the hands of a preacher, maybe literally her dad or somebody else in the church, okay. something like that. That's kind of where my head went. All right. This this makes sense to me based on like a little bit of what I'm hearing, some other stuff. I was a little thrown off on, which I think is probably my favorite track, um, A House in Nebraska. Okay. Because I was like, oh, okay, maybe it's a little more just about their general life as well. Because mm-hmm. I wasn't sure if this was t- – again, because in my head I had sort of it was going to be about like religious abuse, physical yep. abuse kind of thing. Maybe again at the hands of her actual father or whatever. Um, and then it's like, oh, this is like a love story and this song and like a heartbreak thing and whatever about somebody leaving. And mm-hmm. um, But also I thought it was like a death, but maybe it was like not a literal death. There's a lot. There's a lot going on in this. Yeah. My- um, so anyway, but but I that's just kind of where I went, and then the the turn is not that. <laughs> yeah, well, I so that here I've I, I've crazy. listened to it. I did not read anything about it. Here was my interpretation of it: she's grown up in wherever, and then decides to run away with a guy, and they make their way to California. Uh-huh. This is just my interpretation of it. At some point, Gibson Girl. That's thoroughfare, probably that song probably i think it's about like but like move, moves out west looking for whatever mm-hmm. becomes a stripper and then goes into human trafficking okay that was my mm-hmm. thought process yeah the what i had told you is um tola mayo uh-huh. mayo tola mayo that song was whatever like the I don't know how like that's that's the turn song. Yeah. And then the next song after that is like that's that's the death song now that we've we uh-huh. we we know. But for mine that was the turn song and that's like something happens and then I thought like the rest of it is like dealing with that, mm-hmm. but it's not. Mm-hmm. Um 
And I thought like Sunbleach flies was just we're in a room mm-hmm. waiting to be transported somewhere else mm-hmm. because it's human trafficking. Yeah. That that was my thought. But And that could be interpreted that way of that like she sort of dies Yeah. In a way, <laughs> because you're part of this awful mm-hmm. thing and like people are just treating you like a thing and not a person and whatever until like you have died and that's not a bad way to interpret it. Like yeah. it that makes a lot of sense. So here's the uh, the Wikipedia <laughs> concept album uh, sentence yeah. description centers around the character Ethel Kane who runs away from home only to meet a gruesome end at the hands of a cannibalistic psychopath. Yeah. Which that part was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> And now I need to like do even more in depth and re-listen to that album because like I did not get the cannibal thing. No, I mean if you read the lyrics, um, it talks about like I like blood, but not as much as you or whatever, and mm-hmm. like some other things like it references some things like that. But yeah, it's pretty wild. Um, it's also interesting that like the the preacher voice or whatever from like the first track kind of comes back a couple times i need to re-listen to this already yeah like i i'm like i need to stop recording and then just go listen it's like you watch the movie or read the read the book and then you went like watched a youtube video on it and they're like all right here's the here's the deal and you're like wait i missed all that stuff let me go back and watch wait when when i was doing something oh it was it was uh it was in um um andor Uh uh-huh like i somebody was talking about the the one character oh he's my favorite character because blah 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 and i'm like i missed all that Mm -hmm. like i mean i dug that character and i dug those scenes but i did not just miss get all these things that like he uh, what's the guy's name the the guy who basically starts the whole thing off and screws it all up he's a screw up police officer in oh uh uh cyril yeah but he, that's like, Patrick Willem's favorite character. Yes, that's that's that that's, that's, that's where I yeah, got yeah, yeah. this all from, and that he tailored his suit. Oh yeah, like like he changed his his uniform. Yeah, and they're like, did you did you change your uniforms? Like, oh, just a couple things. Uh-huh. And it's just like, okay, because he takes the job so seriously. Yeah, but he's bad at it. Yeah, one of the lines uh, <clears throat> that stuck out to me, and then I actually had read about or seen it quoted in the description of this in album, preacher's daughter. In preacher's daughter is freezer bride. <laughs> Which is the in the last track. Yeah. Um, the, like, she's just in his freezer, and he's going to come and eat her periodically. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's pretty wild. Regardless of all <laughs> of that, regardless of that story or whatever, it's a really good album. Yeah. Like, it's really good. Like, I really, really liked it. I think, I think A House in Nebraska is my favorite track. It's a good, it, that's a really good song. Um, the reason that I chose this is, be, like, if I were to, like, what's my favorite song? Uh-huh. It's uh, Taylor Mayo. Uh-huh. Maya. Taylor Mayo, yeah. That's my favorite song because mm-hmm. it's like so different and like, but I don't think that you can just listen to that on its own. You have to like lead up to it. Yeah. It's like, here's my favorite scene in this movie. Yeah. And it's the, like, it's the end or it's not the end, but it's like two thirds of the way through the movie. And you're just like, why is this your favorite? Because yeah. of all the context that happened before it yeah. and then how different it is and, and all that. But so that's why I chose American Teenagers, which is the second track. Didn't want to do family tree intro because it's kind of an intro. Yeah. Like it's a three minute, 41 second and it's kind of, it just, it's not. Yeah. And it kind of comes back to, well, I was going to say, if you want to listen, just listen to actual family tree, just the yeah. song family tree, which comes back later and it's fairly. Yeah. So anyways, yeah. this is uh, American teenager, which also there was, I don't know where it was, but it, it, it had, and I showed you this, that it said American teenager, but in like the American football kind of oh yeah thing. So Ethel Kane, preacher's daughter, American teenager. And it's pop, we should say. Yeah, well, yeah. It's folk poppy. Yeah. Taylor Swift. Power pop. Taylor Swift. If Taylor super Swift knew <laughs> how to write good songs, better songs, uh, she writes some with, good with songs. With more, with darker, darker substance. Yeah. Yeah, if you like Taylor Swift, you'll like this. But also if you like, like Phoebe Bridgers and... and oh, and, a thousand percent. The amount of reverb 
Oh yeah, is great. Well, that's even one of the things that's mentioned in like her early sort of recording career and stuff was just like messing around with like Gregorian chant with like crazy amounts of reverb. Yeah, the the, <laughs> the Inbreed album or EP explores Americana, ambient folk, and slowcore. Yeah, and I'm like ambient folk. Yes, I'm into. What that. was one of the things that I saw? Uh, oh, where was it? Was it on here? Somewhere I saw a thing. Maybe it's on the actual albums. Uh, now I don't know where I saw it. Somewhere I saw another label for them, and I was like, oh, that's fun. But now I can't find it, of course. This is probably the most poppy song. Yeah. I think. Oh, here's where it is. <laughs> it says it's an Americana pop rock folk, ethereal, alt pop, goth pop, and dark ambient album with influences from slowcore, heartland rock, classic rock, cock rock. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sludge, gospel, industrial noise, horror, electronica, and drone. Yeah, I buy all that. That was the one I found funny. And this is all the stuff that happens, like, like before, like, like I'm still in high school and I love this, but I want to get out of this town. Yeah. And then, right, like the beginning, that yeah. like, so the happier times. Yeah. And I, it doesn't really say it, but it seems semi autobiographical. Just reading a little bit about her upbringing. And stuff. Her dad was a deacon in the Southern Baptist Church. She came out as gay at 12 and then as transgender at 16 or something like that. Like, so, mm-hmm. you know, that whole thing about church and that stuff. That neon, isn't yeah. that like, uh, uh, it's, 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 it's cock rock. Uh, oh. yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> don't stop believing. <laughs> and it's still there. And I'm like, oh, they're ripping off. The, that's, that's cool. I want to talk about that song in a second. Don't stop believing. Yeah. Okay. This is the song though that you would pick if you're like, you just kind of want to introduce them to somebody. Yeah. Probably. Yes. Yes. This would get you in the door to a yeah. lot of people. Yeah. If you if you do the, the song that I chose, it'd be like, I don't. This is I don't like this. this. Yeah. But this is like, oh yeah, this is really good. Okay, yeah, listen yeah. to the whole album. Yeah. What just I don't. What? Like, Wait. What? Yeah. Yeah. Um, she left the church at 16. Okay, that's what it was. Yeah. I knew there was something. Came out at 12 uh, as gay, left the church at 16, and then trans woman at 20. Okay. Yeah. It's a good album. Check it out. I'm sure. glad that you listened to it. Yeah. And everyone should listen to it. Hopefully, you listen to it. <laughs> all the way through yeah no it's really good she's a good songwriter mm-hmm. um i i want to go back maybe and check out that um ep as well in, in breed in, in bread in bread in I breed think. there's a song called michelle pfeiffer i know that much <laughs> yeah and the record label is daughters of cain which okay. i'm just assuming is like her thing yeah yeah she's good i dig it Anything else to say? I want to find it on vinyl, but I know that it's not. It's not, really? Well, I mean, it probably is, but it's probably sold out. Oh. And also, it's probably just on black vinyl, so it's not Mm. cool. (laughs) Speaking of vinyl, I got a a new record in the mail the other day. The Basement Album? The Basement Album. Nice. So it's like, it's it's a fold, right? Gatefold. And a gatefold. And then it also has like a sleeve that goes over top of that that's embossed. It's just all orange, but in like all the 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 lettering is embossed. Okay. Which is really cool. Nice. And then it's it's like super dark purple. Yeah. It's really good. Nice. It's really cool looking. Yeah, it does look cool. 
Uh, I need to get that as well because I, I did listen to more of that album. I really like it. I am saving my vinyl buying for now because as we record this, uh, this upcoming weekend, I'll be going to New York City. Oh. Uh, where I'll be performing at Carnegie Hall. No big deal. My second time in, in my life. Just don't worry about it. How'd you get there? Uh, we already did that. We did that yeah. two weeks ago. But anyway, uh, because I'm going to New York City that has two of my favorite record stores in it, uh, limited to one. And also the jazz records are near, and I will be going to both of those and mm-hmm. spending. Where do you go when you're here? Christmas money. <laughs> um, uh, usually Record Connection down in Ephrata. Okay, they are my favorite. They got a great selection um, of everything, really, mm-hmm. and they have they have good prices. Like the stuff that should be expensive is the stuff that shouldn't isn't. Um, they don't they don't try to gouge you or anything. They also have a big selection of like CDs and tapes and stuff too. I. <laughs> I was gonna. I, they had a last time I was there was um, end of November, early December. I can't remember, and uh, it might have been like December first actually. But I was there just like on a random Thursday night. I just want to go down and get some stuff, just like look around and get some stuff. And they had midnights on cassette, mm-hmm. and I almost got it for you just <laughs> cool. to be silly. I did buy you something though, not there. You, you bought me something. I did buy you something. When, when am I going to get it? I'll save it. Well, I don't even have it yet. <laughs> I, I had to order it through the mail, but I'll I'll share it when when we get oh. it. I'll I'll give it to you on the podcast. Now when, I, now when now I need it. to get you something. No, no, it was just it was a win. I mean, technically, I I did offer you concert tickets, and you said you I did. can't. You did, yeah. I'm I'm bummed. I can't accept that. But um, no, this was just like a thing. I was getting myself one, and then I was like, I'm gonna get Bo one too. So we'll I'll 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 present I'm excited it to now. You. Yeah, I actually like just remembered as I was telling you about that. Um, but yeah, that's that's where I go. Record connection. I like them a lot. There's a couple other spots around, but like they're the best. So um, don't stop believing. Um, the bass part's kind of square. Okay. Once it gets on the boom, boo doo, boom, boo doo, boom. Because like the, that opening piano thing. I actually like listened to that song the other day. Yeah. It came on. I was driving my mom somewhere, and she likes having the, the radio on mm-hmm. usually. And so like whatever station she had on, like that song was on it. And so, like, since it was on in the car and we're driving, I was like, let me actually, like, listen to this song for once and not just have it on the background. Mm-hmm. And, like, it, like the, the bass part at the beginning is in the piano, right? Yeah, yeah. Boom, boo-doo-doo, boo-doo-doo. Like, it kind of anticipates yep. the next beat and whatever. And then when the actual bass line comes in in the song, it doesn't do that. Okay. Boo-doo-doo. He, like, lands right on the beat. I'm like, why don't you keep the, like, syncopated gotcha. thing? But it's something I don't think I ever paid attention to in the 58 years that I've been listening to that song. 58? Wow, yeah. you're looking pretty good for 58. Yeah, I moisturize. I didn't realize you're <laughs> older than me. I yeah. thought you were younger. I'm so old, I actually like went back around the number line again. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's not how the numbers work, No, right? it is, though. <laughs> it's not like the musical you alphabet. Reach, you reach the age of infinity, and then you just go back to zero again. <laughs> Or do you go negative? Yeah. I make I make jokes about like just being old sometimes in front of my students and like like we'll be learning about Bach or whatever. I'm like, oh yeah, he was like a freshman when I was a senior. And like, <laughs> some of the kids will like, you know, some of the kids laughing because it's ridiculous. And so, and then every now and then there's a kid that like kind of looks at me and I'm like, in your head, are you thinking, yeah, I buy that. <laughs> I, be- I believe you're 400 years old. <laughs> I buy that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So anything else? Uh, join the discord where Bo's <clears throat> going to post that thing or maybe he already did yeah it's already there I got to post a picture of this in, in 105 water bottle in episode 105 um, it's a good looking water bottle yeah regardless it of is whatever. Uh, follow us on Instagram F- subscribe F- to this podcast like subscribe I don't know all those things that YouTube things tell yeah. you to do like subscribe share share would be great just like post it on your socials it's all what's what do they call it engagement yeah it, all engagement is good for us so uh write a review appreciate it. uh just hit the five star button if yeah. you don't like it hit it twice <laughs> um instagram facebook that yeah yeah you know what i gotta do it started doing this when i post on the instagram now like post our weekly thing yeah, for yeah. the episode it's like do you want to share it to facebook I should figure out how to share it to Facebook, and then yeah. you don't have to do anything. Yeah, you would have to link it. Well, yeah, but that's about it. Well, no, it, w- it would post on. Well, no, because I think if you'd it's have to a, link the. If it's a story, it just goes to our story. You would have to. No, I don't want to do it to the story. I want to do it to like and make a post. Post. Okay. Anyway, we'll figure that out off 
the mics. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Let's get to business. Let's figure out how to do this. Yes. All right. We'll see you next week. Cool. Bye. Bye.